you can repair your old flexible solar panel. I found out that if you take your soldering iron, find out where they're not connected here like this. One goes under and one goes on top. So under on top, under on top. And they're not all like this, some go the other way. But what you do is you irrigate and dig out. You dig out this side to get a solder tab and go on the other side and dig it out and get a solder tab also. Like I did here. And what you do is you, you get the tab, find some solder resin flux and stick it on there, stick some a little wire. I had the wire going through from the top side to the bottom side. And you can find out uh, that all the cells are working that way. All of them. And uh, to show you, I'm dropping everything here in my crowded shop here. Only I do want something with it. Now I'm just using the light from the shop, so negative, positive. See now as I put my hand over and it changes because of hitting the cells. That's the other way you can find out what cells are working. Very useful. This plastic can be burned through and on the top and the bottom with a good hot soldering iron and irrigate and dig it out. And you can repair your solar panels that way. I've done this two or three times already because I don't know, when the sun gets so hot these things can melt off and unsolder themselves. So I found a way to put a diode across there first, 3 amper, just to protect polarity. And uh, <coughs> Find a way to get through these little tabs with the soldering iron, dig it out, dig the plastic away. You'll see the silver uh, tab. All you have to do is stick some solder flux on there, put a little ball of solder on it, get a wire, find a place to go through that's not hitting the cell with the wire, melt a hole through it, come through, and go from this side to that side with a little strip of wire here. I did it on every one, uh, two of them I had to do so far. so really works. It's a good way to save your 120 watt panels that you spent $120 for. And it's uh, getting it back to where you can get it working again. And that's what I have for this project. How to repair a flexible panel solar, solar panel cell. For, and this one's 120 watts rated.